Yeah, let's start off by just showing you what the program is going to do. Okay, your year mark, exam mark, click of process data. Then it's just going to ask you what the percentage of the year mark must count, 90%, let's say 10% for the exam mark. And then it will calculate a final mark for you. Okay, but the main purpose of this program is that I can show you how the class and the object will work. Okay, so to create a new separate unit, let's say you don't have it yet, you just go to File, New, then you can add a new unit. Okay, in the new unit or unit 2, we usually declare our class. Okay, in unit 1 is where all the coding for your GUI will be and where you will declare your object and create your object and free your object. If you want to view your unit where the class is or unit 2, you can go to view unit over here and then you can just select class learner okay remember if you want to switch to a different form you can also use the view form okay so now i am in my class unit okay first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add the users all the users all the models that i'm going to use and the one i'm going to use is sysutils so i'm only going to add this one and then i'm going to create my new type when you create a new t uh, data type that is not yet known to Delphi, it's called data abstraction. I'm going to say T learner, T because it's a new type, equals class. In brackets, I'm going to add T object. So it's going to inherit all the properties and events from the class T object. Okay, usually under private, you will have all your fields or your properties, but you can also still have something. It's not always the case that all the fields will be and all the, f the methods will be on the public and all the fields will be on private but most of the cases it will be the case okay so i have f name year mark f exam mark f final mark on the public i have all my methods okay methods all my events okay i have my constructor create and a procedure and few functions and when you click control shift c it will auto complete these methods for you so if you did everything right here and you click control shift c it will auto complete it for you and let's just try to show you what will happen okay so let's say i don't have this constructor yet and i click behind my constructor create and I say control shift C, it will auto complete uh, the method for you. Okay, but we're not going to use that one. We're going to use this one. Okay. So then everything will be empty. Then you can go to your main unit. First thing over here, you must add the unit of the class under the users. Okay, that's the first thing. Second thing is you must create an object variable. So you must create a new object according to the class T learner. Okay, so I started with OBJ just to show you or just to let me know that it's an object, object learner, and it created according to T learner. That means that this object will have these fields or properties and these events or methods. Okay. If I remove this, the class learner unit, Delphi will not know where to find this class, T learner, because it's nowhere in this unit will Delphi find anything about T learner. Okay, so as soon as you see that um, there's a syntax error under your class type, then you know that you must add your. unit under the users okay that's the second step is this one third one is you must create an instance of that object okay to create an instance of that object you say the object is equals to t learner dot create okay, dot create then you will create an object create an object 
if you want to free that object usually under close or somewhere you will say object dot free okay another commonly made error is when you type in say object learner dot then it will pop up the create for you okay, this is wrong you should not do it like this make sure that you say object learner is equal to t t learner create 